Hello everyone, this is your one and only Desire and welcome back to a, another part of the Rokas. This is actually part two and in the first part really didn't do much besides introduce you to the Rokas and see where they're living and you get a chance to see Camilla's store. Like I said in the last part, you guys are actually going to be seeing Paulo today. We're going to follow him, go to his store. He's off of work so... He definitely wants to head to the store in his gym just to kind of focus his mind on work right now because like I said, they're having a little bit of issues at the moment. Now I did say, I do remember I did say in the last part that I was going to be decorating Seven's room. You can see she's up and at him right now. So I'm going to do that right quick and it's going to be sped up so it's not going to take me that long. And I sort of kind of don't feel like doing it right this second. So <laughs> I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm ready for it to change. And what better way to do that than you guys seeing me do it. So just sit tight to see what I come up with. And we are going to be starting right now.
Welcome. All right, everyone. And this is Seven's Room. I do apologize if you hear any kind of snoring in the background. <laughs> it is kind of late. But this is Seven's Room. I hope you guys like it. Um, I was just trying to hurry up and do a little something something. And uh, this is what I came up with. So it's pretty colorful. Looks like it's for a little girl. I might make some adjustments or something later, depending on how I feel. But just for something pretty quick, I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. This is 725 in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and have him head out to the store since he's actually pretty okay right now. So just sit tight and I will be back. Alright everyone, we are here at Paulo's store and it's actually called Rokoware. <laughs> I thought it was cute, like Rokoware, Rokoware. I'm cheesy, I know. But I know you guys wondering, like, why is there red carpet out here? But he just had a grand opening for his gym that you guys are going to see in just a second. I'm going to give you a quick little tour of the store. This is the front of the store when you first come in. I think it's cute. Over here is the male side. Uh, but before I show you that, over here, up here are some trophies and some sport equipment, basketball, footballs, um, some weights and all that other good stuff. I uh, have some shoes, some air horns, some smell goods, some body essentials, workout clothes, got some massage stuff that you can get. Uh, this is the other workout outfit for the men and back here is the child section he usually he usually doesn't really get people or kids that will come in and buy the outfit so they're just back there really for decoration uh, over here is the women's section some women workout wear um, some shoes air horns towels smell good candles uh, workout stuff and this is the other workout outfit exercise outfit up here on the top floor are the bathrooms and if you want to buy a treadmill a workout bench or a yoga mat you can come up here I actually had like some posters but I think I took them out or they don't work in my game anymore so it's just it's kind of dry up here but it's okay no one really ever goes upstairs like that unless they have to go to the bathroom so it's so good and then back here uh, is where you can buy some basketball courts essentials like we want to buy a hoop or if you need to buy um I don't even know what you call this thing, but there's three colors that you can get. And I know you guys are wondering, like, where is the gym? The gym is at the bottom. You simply just go down in this little cut right here. And I know it looks weird and it's really tight, but that's the only way I could place it for the bottom floor. Um, so you're going to go in down the stairs here. And you can either go to the left or the right. And we're going to go to the left. So you guys can see uh, so when you first come in over here um, it's like a little sitting area because you can get food now here if you want so you can come over here and sit if you don't really feel like sitting at a table you can sit over here um, in this little area here with the couches I'm tab out so you guys can kind of see what that looks like and I'm gonna turn around we got a little design back here on the wall all right, and then here it's just like a little desk for the receptionist. Even though he doesn't really have one, but you know, <laughs> uh, just for decoration here. Um, get some drinks if people need any, some stuff they can buy. Like you know how you go into like a, a gym and some of them may have like protein stuff or some kind of pills or something that you can take. And then up here, because it's kind of tradition. <laughs> Up here is Paulo and Camilla on the grand opening of the gym. So I thought it was cute. They have a picture store first open and then they have a picture for when the gym first open. And I'll show you guys that because this is actually like my se second time trying to do this. So I didn't do that this time around. Then in here is the gym. Uh, of course the vending machines over here. I know that's not really healthy to have in a gym but there's not really any other options so they're just gonna have to deal with <laughs> with that and there's not really a lot to the gym 
there's treadmill workout bench um, of course you can put your stuff over here and the lockers and your clothes and stuff and then these are the rock climbing walls um, I'm gonna put the wall somewhat down jeez uh, these are the rock climbing walls workout bench or you can come over here and get on the punching bags and I know you guys are like why do you have the flowers under there <laughs> I thought it was cute I liked it it was a little touch it was Camilla's little touch to the place and then up here they have the mirror wall and you can work on doing your yoga so that is the gym and over here is the right that you can come out on but I wanted to show you guys the left. And then all the way back here uh, is actually the bathrooms. It's not really a lot to it. It's just some showers and some place where you can use the bathroom. Because you do start stinking once you're working out. And then this is his little office back here in case he needs to talk to some clients. Or if he has some kind of a business meeting or something. I just kept it really, really light. Because Apollo wouldn't really decorate, decorate his place up like <laughs> Camilla would. So that is his gym. I'm so excited about it. Happy about that. Um, right now, his workers, they have like a set uniform that they're supposed to be wearing. But he had to let some people go and hire some new people. So uniform is going to look all over the place. But we're going to go ahead and open and I'm going to show you guys the picture that they took when the store first opened. So this is the picture when they first opened and this picture is actually the first picture that you guys see when you go to their little section of my website up at the top. So I thought it was cute but if you're interested in this lot it is on the gallery. Uh, you just look for Desire Sims with two S's and you have to have uh, custom content turned on in order to find me. Um, not everything I put up includes CC and if it does have some CC, it'll be something that you really won't miss. It'll be like some flooring or a carpet or something. This is a uniform for the guys that <laughs> they're supposed to be wearing. And the girls are supposed to have something on themselves, but they're just starting, literally. So, we'll see. But let's see what they are doing. Sign work tasks. I'm going to have you clean the store. Uh, I'm going to have you to answer customers questions and I was so heartbroken because one of his employees has been with him since the store actually opened and for some reason when I came back to run the store the place was I mean when I came back to to run the store the person didn't work there anymore and I couldn't I didn't have the option to get them back so hopefully I can get them back it was um what is her name darling she was actually a really really good worker and she had the highest ranking she was at the top she couldn't get promoted any further but I guess she just quit or the game got rid of her so I don't know what happened with that and this sim here that actually works for him he is um he's actually looking out for her at the moment her name is Brittany Sparks and if you follow the story then you know who she is but he's kind of looking out for her because of one <laughs> reason you guys will find out about that but as you can see she is preggers uh i feel like she might be in her third trimester i don't want to go into mc command center to see because you guys are gonna find out some information i don't want you to find out yet <laughs> so uh yeah we got somebody down here uh i guess she was on the the you supposed to be working. Why are you on the rock climbing wall? Go clean the store. And then what are we going to do? We're going to manage her and we're going to 
the rate for slacking because she have let me do that first and then tell her what to do because there was no reason for her to be down here uh, assign work test I'll have you answer Christmas questions too There's no reason for you to be down here in the gym. She probably not gonna last long. I can feel it. And then his other two employees are talking to each other rather than <laughs> talking to the customers. You know, two people that needs to be rung up. So I don't know if I told her to ring, ring up customers. Now I said no one wants to buy anything. Everyone wants to buy something. All the original Sims are getting so old in my game. Sergio is an adult. My gosh. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna go and ring her up. Yep, Susan's getting fired today because she's down here watching TV after he didn't tell her to do something. So she's going to be let go. Okay, Brittany, she's actually working. So thank you for that, Brittany. Yeah, she's in labor. Alright, so we're going to send her home. I'm going to let her clock out early. Uh, not getting a promotion. Allow the clock out early. And then we're gonna fire other girl and hire somebody else. And then I think I'm gonna end the part. And then in the next part, I'm probably am going to follow Kylo to school to see what he's doing there or how he's coming along with making friends and everything. All right, so we're letting you go home early. I'm gonna ring these last little bit of people up. Yeah, All right, see you later, Brittany. I don't know what he bought. Oh, whatever he bought was a thousand dollars. What? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close the store. Dun dun dun. All right, and oh, he got a three thousand dollar profit. That is not bad. All right, now she's fired. And let's manage employees. Okay. Uh, let's see who we have. We have Darling Tinsley. We're not rehiring Susan. Masato Tanaka. I don't really want anyone old working in the store because I don't need a death. <laughs> Uh, Kaden Bundy, and he can't hire Aliza. She was actually doing pretty good, and she's an ex employee. But because Camilla found out <laughs> that she was working for Paulo, um, she she ended that real quick. She was like, you need to go ahead and let her go. And the only reason why Camilla is acting like that towards Eliza is because on Camilla's grand opening, Eliza tries to hit on Paulo. So ever since then, Camilla was like, I don't like you. I don't mess with you. <laughs> We're not cool or whatever. So he had to let her go. Um, and I guess we can do Blair. We can do Blair. We'll see how she works. All right, so we have a new employee. The other girl was not doing anything. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys enjoy this next little part in the segment of the Rokas. Um, there's probably going to be one more part to this. And we're going to follow Kylo to school to see what his day is like. And um, that'll be the end of it for a while. I will come back every now and then do little updates on their life. And maybe they might have more kids or there might be something different in the household or something of the sort. But with that being said, <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and watching another 
part of the Rokas. I already said that. I know, but I'm saying it again. If you could, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want some more content from me, hit those links below. And until next time, bye!